Hi everybody, I'm Hillary from tarotbyhillary.com and welcome to day two of the card a day challenge. Today we're going to talk about reversals. So this is going to be a super, super short video compared to yesterday's video, which was covering tarot's history and its basic structure and introducing you to the challenge and everything else. This is going to be short and sweet. Today we're talking about reversals. So reversals, to be brief, are when you pull a tarot card and it's upside down. As you remember yesterday, I happened to pull the Fool reversed, and I told you, don't worry about reversals right now, put it upside down, uh, put it right side up, <laughs> because we're not going to worry the, about them right now. Today, we're going to talk about them. So basically, you pull a tarot card and it's upside down. That's what a reversed tarot card is. So some tarot readers take this to be an outright negation of the upright meaning of the card. Um, other readers, myself included, see a reversal as a blockage or a miscommunication of the card's energy. So still others don't even read with reversals at all. So the reason why I read with reversals is because I like the visual. Um, I like having the visual of the reversed card to show the energy that's going on, both to myself, if I'm reading for myself, or if I'm reading for a client. You've got the upside down card, and that is a very clear visual sign to them that something's not quite right, or something's not quite jiving. That, to me, is what a reversed card is, and why you use reversals. Um... So other readers that don't use reversals, they tend to tell me that they like to feel their way or um, gauge by feeling alone whether or not the card is reversed to them. It might not look like it's reversed, but to them they feel like there's a reversal there without the visual. And this is the reason why I read with reversals because I like the visual, I like seeing, and that is kind of a part of how intuitive informa information comes to me. I kind of see it in pictures and little snapshots and movies. So I like the visual. So that's all there really is to reversals. Now. A lot of people think of reversals as, okay, well, I've got the upright meaning and then I've got the reversed meaning. So does this mean that it's 78 cards times two now because I'm going to read with reversals? Well, yeah, and kind of no at the same time. Um, this is not a decision that you have to make now, though. So I encourage you during this challenge, if a reversal does come up for you, now you can actually leave it reversed and take a look at it and see what might be coming to you with that reversal. Are there certain symbols on the card that are now upside down that might indicate an energy leaving the card or an energy coming back into the card? And how is that applicable to your day or to the question that you asked the tarot? So, Reversals, yay or nay, it's completely up to you. You don't have to choose right now, but there you have it. It's just another tool in your arsenal just like the tarot is. So if you do like using them, that's great. If you don't like using them, that's fine too. It's completely up to you. So that's it for today. Let's go ahead and pull your card of the day for today. So, as always, I have my deck with me here. Again, I'm using the Radiant Rider Wheat Smith deck. And I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. And I hope you're shuffling along with me, too, at home. What is the energy for the day, my friends? Oh, look! It is a reversal. So this is the Four of Cups reversed. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read the reverse meaning now, now that we've talked about reversals. So the Four of Cups reversed to me is actually a good thing because the upright meaning of this card can sometimes indicate 
the per the person either pulling the card or the person being asked about in the question um, is a little bit of a dreamer, um, prone to pipe dreams, um, not really grounded or rooted in reality. Now, with the reversal of this card, I like to think of it as there's a little bit more realistic <laughs> realism to the goals, and they're more capable of being met. So. Four of Cups reversed to me is actually, I like that, I like the reversed meaning better than the upright meaning because it feels more stable and more grounded to me and um, not as prone to flights of fancy. So there's the energy that's going on. That's the card of the day from me. What's your card of the day? If you haven't already, go ahead and shuffle up your deck and pull your card of the day. I'll see you in the Facebook group. Let's share those cards of the day and let me know if you have any questions or any need any help interpreting your card of the day. And I will see you later on in the Facebook group and tomorrow morning for your next challenge. Have a great day.